How's everyone doing today? We're building a truck. So I need to show you everything that comes inside of the Konghead 6x6. This is the G601. Yes, everybody, we're not making a TTO2 today. We need something bigger to recover this TTO2. So let me show you what's inside. Okay, so looks like right away my eyes are drawn straight to these wheels and man these things are massive six of course six beautiful large cushy wheels too i mean they're rubber and they got some cushion to them i kind of like this they're all the same size let's see what else we got part street part street i don't know what any of these are i've never built this kit before so this is gonna be for oh. I was hoping for this. I was hoping we we're gonna get clear. I mean, of course, to me, it's gonna give us a clear body, but I see everyone painted the standard blue, so I think we're gonna choose a different color today. That thing is gorgeous. Mm hmm. Love it. Leave you up top. All right, what else did we get? Okay, this is a bunch. Let me, let me open this up real quick. All right, I got that bag open and. We have the standard 540 motor. It doesn't say torque tuned, it doesn't say Tamiya, so I think it's gonna be one of those Chinese ones. Let's put it over here in the stack. <sighs> Let's see. Bushings, bushings, bushings. When are you gonna learn, Tamiya? Give us some bearings, man. This is nice. Got us some parts. We got us a bunch of more parts. What are these? I think this is so that we can hold the gears in. This is what all the gears are gonna be running on. Ooh, got another one of those wrenches. I love those. Got some grease. And this is to hold in the bumpers, shock towers, chrome parts, baby. Man, this looks good. To me, it is good with their chrome, man. Look at that. Woo, the shine. This is your chassis. Oh, dang. This is sturdy. This is heavy too, man. Kind of like that. Parts and parts and parts. Look at these rims, baby. Deep dish. Deep, 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 deep dish rims. Man. That is some sexy, sexy rims. And I'm guessing this is more chassis braces and parts and stuff like that. Gears. Whoa. Whoa. Those are gears. These are... These are gears, gears, hella gears. Not only did they give you hella gears, they give you spare gears, man. These things are crazy big. These shocks, pretty sturdy too. They're a little sturdier than the regular Pogo sticks they give you. Let's see what else we got. More hardware. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so we're gonna have adjustable turnbuckles? I like that. Okay, okay, let's see what else we got. Mm-hmm. This is the other half of that part bag. And wait, did I already open? Just, okay, I think I already went through these. Um this is servo? Servo stuff? No, this is brakes. This is your wheels. Yeah, this is for the wheels. And body clips, body clips. Okay, this is the time. I wanna see these stickers. The suspense is killing me. Hey, it's pretty good. Yeah, boy, I think we're gonna have some fun with these. Now, I'm not gonna go with the standard theme that they got going on. I'm not gonna do the standard blue. We're gonna choose a different color, but I'm gonna be taking a lot of these stickers, especially these carbon fiber pieces. So, let's put this thing together. <laughs> let's have some fun. All right, so I wanna do this the right way and I wanna walk you guys through what we're doing. So, step one. Um, Open your wheels. Man, this thing is beautiful. The rubber is like better than the wheels on my car. Look at that grip. Look at the grip. All right, so as I'm taking out these parts, I'm starting to realize something. I'm a little intimidated. And then I realize something else. <laughs> they give you four trees of the exact same part. So the C parts, we get four of them why that is so many spare parts we're gonna have but at least it's a little less intimidating now 
In case you don't understand, step two, you just gotta press fit that piece and that piece into there and there. That's it. All right, one more thing I need to show you. I know we're not really getting to the build, but this is kind of important. Um, I was giving Tamiya a little bit of crap earlier about having these, these, because they never give us bearings. But look at what they did here. This is all metal cups. This is all metal gearing. Like they gave us metal parts. And usually this comes in hop ups and upgrades and stuff, but they gave us an extra tube of grease. Like I gotta say, good job to me. All right, quick walkthrough on step four. How we put one of these dips together real quick. So there's three dips. You get the diff cup, you get one of these triangles, you put them gears in together, you put one of these on the bottom, just like so, with one of them shims underneath, just like so. You get that little gear. You're supposed to fit it in here somehow. Nice and easy. Look, you see? You see? After that gear falls in nice and smooth, I would grab a little bit of your Tamiya grease and throw some in there. Make sure you grab a shim to put on top of this. Toss your gear on top, put your cap on, and you're set. All right, time to throw these dips in the chassis and using the world famous bushings. Mm, look what I found though. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't have enough bearings for the entire kit. So I'm only using it on specific gears, like for the differentials and for these two big gears here, I have them on the inside and outside or left and right, I guess. But everything else is just bushings, even these metal bushings here. So we're just gonna keep it like that for now until we get a few more upgrades. Um, but look at the way that they spin, man. It's like the ratio is crazy. And we do these front ones here. Oh, I guess we can only go this way, but yeah. Looking pretty cool. All right, step nine is just a repeat of step three on the other side. Then you throw in your bearings and you seal it up. And she looks like this. All right, we've reached a very important part in our build. <laughs> what kind of motor are we gonna use? Brushed or brushless? Well, we haven't done this setup before. Blah, 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 blah. We're going brushless. All right, something I noticed, maybe you should keep in mind before choosing your pinion gear. You only have two choices. You have an 18 or a 20. That's it. They let you have an 18 for free. You got to provide your own 20. Man, once you get this thing installed, it's like quite heavy. Yeah, see? Even the dog bones are metal. This is nice. Well... Then you do step 14, looks like this. Install it with step 15, with this. Now would be a perfect time to show you a little trick that Tamiya likes to do. They have this habit of putting different hardware in different bags so that you need to get every single bag to complete your kit. That way you don't buy these things separately. They've thought of this, man, smart people. All right, now that I got the front mids and rears on, I decided to go with the four wheel steering. So basically repeating the fronts with the back and the mids, there's no steering. So that catches us up all the way to step 21. Now let's get started on some suspension. And it looks like these might be oil fill damps. So let's see. All right, these guys are sneaky. So, <laughs> These are still the pogo sticks. I thought they were oil filled dampeners, but they're not. Um, they have this little cushion in here, which is basically looks like heat shrink. It's just a little piece of rubber, right? In there and the screw just slides up against it. So it's friction. I mean, it does have dampening, but it's friction dampening, not oil filled. That's funny. Good job, guys. All right, got all the dampened pogo sticks on and moving on to the next step. All right, this is the part where you might just get a little upset with me because I skipped a few steps. <laughs> yeah, quite the build video, huh? Um, 
you know, I realize it's not as tough as it looks. This is very easy stuff. I will say there's one step that I had to go back on and I had to fix and it was with this right here. What did I forget? What did I forget? Those. I forgot those. So I had to take apart the entire truck, put those back on. It was kind of fun, to be honest, but it wasn't also. Shock towers are on, the wheels are on, battery is in, the ESC is in, transmitting receiver, four wheel steer, done. You know, I think, I wanna say we're done, but uh, never mind. this answer is my question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, th this this is unused parts by the way yeah see this anything that color unused parts it doesn't look like a lot until you get to the, all the unused parts this is ridiculous this is a lot you could build a whole new truck i mean in case you need a rear bumper or a rear bumper or a rear bumper you know at least you'll have a spare or a spare or a spare now there's one thing I'm missing waiting on is the servos. Sounds like a big deal, but hey, there's two servos that I need. So I needed to order another set. I have this one here, but it's only a nine kilogram. This won't turn the wheels of a regular TTO2 on the dirt. And for a size comparison, TTO2 uh, G601. TTO2 G601. And, and again, this is a 10th scale, one tenth scale. This is a one eighteenth scale. Imagine if this was a one tenth scale, like, yeah, this is crazy. Good size. Just cause I'm waiting on servos doesn't mean I'm not gonna pull the trigger a little bit, huh? Let's turn this thing on and let's get some power. Let that fan wind up real quick. <laughs> the wheels are turned. Oh, I love this. Oh, 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 too much, too much power. Let's turn our throttle down. Okay, let's try that again. Turn it down too far, turn it down too far. Okay, let's turn it up a little bit. Still doesn't work. What did I do? I broke something already. What did I break? Uh, I figured it out. <laughs> okay. I love this thing. I love this thing. Perfect. All right, let's get working on this body. Yeah, boy. Trimming it a little bit and putting the window stickers on. This is going to be the last time we see her clear. Man, looking beautiful man look at this finished product this thing is beautiful all black everything got some chrome accent going chrome rims man this thing is tough it's looking pretty sick four wheel steer man i can't wait till the test driver takes this thing out the new tto2 recovery vehicle <laughs> on a g601 frame well guys I, I mean, next week we're going to have some fun. We're going to pull this thing out. We're going to go hit the park and see what we can do with it. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, and we'll keep doing awesome builds like this. <laughs> Till next week, guys. See ya.